Hey everybody and welcome back to Newegg TV. I'm Steve and today I'm going to do an overview on this Gigabyte motherboard. This is the Z87X UD7TH. We're going to start with what comes inside the box uh, with the manual and installation guide as you see here uh, and Gigabyte badge and drivers and digital format manuals both for the motherboard as well as the Wi-Fi Bluetooth 4.0 PCIe card. Here's the 2x2-802.11ac dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0 PCIe X1 card. They're also providing a magnetized dual band antenna with SMA connectors. There's also an USB header to connect the Bluetooth module to the motherboard, as well as the included manual. The 3.5 inch front panel with two USB ports and mounting screws. Eight voltage reed cables. And here is the insulated rear I.O. shield. Six serial ATA cables, three are 90 degree angle connectors. They've included one two-way crossfire bridge, as well as a two-way, three-way, and four-way SLI bridges. The UD7TH is an LGA 1150 socket motherboard using Intel's fourth generation core aka Haswell processors. It's a Z87 based EATX motherboard, so make sure that your case is compatible with the extended ATX format. One of the biggest features is, of course, the two Thunderbolt 2 ports. It's using Intel's new Thunderbolt controller, codenamed Falcon Ridge, and enables two 20 gigabit per second bi-directional channels versus the two sets of up and downstream 10 gigabits per second channels with uh, Thunderbolt 1. Now, Thunderbolt 2 is, of course, backwards compatible with your other Thunderbolt devices, so keep that in mind as well. And also keeping with Gigabyte's ultra durable design series, the UD7TH includes durable black solid capacitors, an all international rectifier digital power design, and a double copper PCB. These all combine together to provide clean, reliable power for overclocking and efficient, durable components for longevity. They're also providing you in Wi-Fi IEEE 802.11ac and Bluetooth 4.0 connectivity via the included PCIe card. Uh, it's a 2x2 two two dual band AC card with max theoretical throughput of 876 megabits per second. They also included the OC Touch, which are surface mounted buttons to ease, over, ease overclocking outside the UAFI. Additionally, they have OC PCIe dip switches, OC PEG auxiliary power, 15 micron gold plated CPU socket, and high electrostatic discharge protection for USB and LAN ports, one fuse per USB port, and four way SLI and crossfire support. Don't forget too, Gigabyte's including their software suite with this board, and that includes Gigabyte's App Center, Easy Tune with Gigabyte's Smart Fan 2, App BIOS, Easy Setup, and UEFI Dual BIOS. This EATX motherboard measures in at 10.4 inches by 12 inches and has a matte black finish with gold and silver accents on the heat sinks. This one cools the power delivery system, and the barbed fittings allow additional cooling via your custom water cooling loop. The Z87 chipset is being cooled via this heatsink, and the two heatsinks are connected via a single heat pipe. The heatsinks are attached via Phillips head screws, making it easier to remove if you want to provide your own heatsinks or water blocks. Starting on the bottom right, we have a surface mounted CMOS switch, the first two of nine fan headers, seven of which are PWM, front panel header, clear CMOS jumper, front USB 3.0 header, one of two, another fan header, two USB headers, three more fan headers, a COM port header, the main backup BIOS switch, the single BIOS switch, SPDIF in and out, as well as the front audio header. For expansion slots, we have three PCIe Gen 3 X16 slots, two PCIe Gen 3 X8 slots, and two PCIe Gen 2 X1 slots. Here at the bottom, we have a special S-Proc slot that is a, quote, proprietary connector for a future product feature, according to Gigabyte. Between the PCI slots, we find both AMI EFI BIOS chips. It also has six SATA Rev 3 6 gigabit per second ports that are provided by the Z87 chipset with support for RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10. The other four in gray were added here with the help of a Marvell 88SE 9230 chip and support RAID 0, 1, and 10. Here we find the UEFI battery and to the right of it, the PEG supplemental power for you three-way and four-way Crossfire and SLI users. Moving up the board, we have the PCIe dip switches, front USB 3.0 header, two of two, a system fan header, 24 pin ATX power connector, the debug LED, and a slew of overclocking buttons. These OC buttons are designed to help you overclock quickly and efficiently outside the UEFI. Aside from raising and lowering your CPU base clock and ratio, you also have eight different voltage read modules and points, including V-Core, V-Dim, and V-Ring, to name a few. And just above the CPU socket, we have the final two fan headers for use with your favorite CPU cooler. 
Four DDR3 DIMM slots here supporting up to 32 gigabytes of memory. That breaks down to 8 gigabyte DIMMs per slot at 1600 or 1333 mega transfers per second speeds natively and support for Intel's XMP extreme memory profiles. Here's the LGA1150 socket for Intel's fourth generation core aka Haswell processors. This socket is not backwards compatible with third or second generation core processors. Here are the ATX 8-pin and 4-pin CPU supplemental power connectors. And on to the rear I.O. where we have a PS2 port, two USB 3.0 ports, a display port and HDMI out, both connected to the iGPU, four more USB 3.0 ports for a total of six, two gigabit Ethernet ports, and two Thunderbolt 2 ports using the DSL5520 chip, aka Falcon Ridge. Remember that uh, you can use these for things other than Thunderbolt devices, for instance, a uh, triple display setup if you were going that direction and 7.1 channel audio with Toslink out. HD audio on this board was provided by the Realtek ALC898 codec with support for XFi Extreme Fidelity and EAX Advanced HD 5.0 technologies. Okay everybody, that's gonna wrap up this overview of Gigabyte's motherboard with the Thunderbolt ports built into it. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and if you haven't already done so, click subscribe to any of our various YouTube channels and we'll see you soon.